what is error so error is a difference between a standard value and an experimental value for example you know that the speed of sound is 340 meter per second you carried out some experiment and your value is 335 meter per second so there is a error of 5 meter per second in your experimental value here we have three types of error the first one is personal error which arises due to carelessness improper or incomplete knowledge and inaccurate or incorrect readings the second one we have systematic error which arises due to faulty in operators and poor calibrations the next one we have random accidental or statistical error which arises due to imperfection of the experimenter limitations of the device or operators and certain change in the environment for example temperature pressure humidity etc so error give rise to uncertainty and uncertainty describes error in the measurements before going in details let me define some more terms as precision precision is the magnitude of error in measurements and accuracy is the relative error here we have a formula of accuracy as error divided by measured value majority students are confused in precision and accuracy let me explain it with the help of this figure actually precision is how close your measurements with each other for example you have this target board and you have to target this main area so here the precision is how close your measurements are and accuracy is how close your measurements with respect to this main target for example in this case your readings are close to each other it means there is a high precision but your readings are much far away from this main targeted area so you have low accuracy here in this case your measurements are much closer to each other so you have high precision and your measurements are also close to this main targeted area so you have high accuracy and in this case your readings are much closer to this targeted area it's mean that you have high accuracy but your readings are far away from each other so you have low precision so i hope that the concept of precision and accuracy are cleared now precision is how close the measurements are with respect to each other and accuracy is how close the measurements are with respect to the main target so here we have very important key points and hints regarding uncertainty which will help you to solve and to test mcqs in seconds it's better to memorize these all the first one is precision or absolute uncertainty is equal to least count accuracy or fractional uncertainty is equal to error or least count divided by measured value percentage uncertainty is equal to fractional uncertainty multiplied by 100% and smaller the absolute uncertainty or least count of a measuring device more precise is the measurement for power factor the uncertainty is multiplied by power so it's time to solve some previous and sample entry test mcqs with the help of these key points which will help you to understand how can you solve the entry test mcqs with the help of these points so it's time to solve an entry test mcqs and these type of mcqs are relevant to these entrance examinations for example in case 1 a measurement taken by a meter rod is 50 centimeter having least count of 0.1 centimeter 
In case 2, a measurement taken by a vernier caliper is 0.5 cm, having a least count of 0.01 cm which will be more precise. So these type of MCQs can be solved with the help of key hints which I explained earlier. As we have a hint here that smaller the absolute uncertainty or least count of a measuring device more precise is the measurement. So in this case the least count of meter rod is 0.1 centimeter and the least count of vernier caliper is 0.01 cm. In this case, 0.01 cm is smaller than 0.1 cm. So, case 2 measurements will be more precise. So, I can explain the concept of accuracy with the help of this MCQs. These type of MCQs come in these entrance examinations. In case 1, a measurement taken by a meter rod is 50 cm having a least count of 0.1 cm. A measurement taken by a vernier caliper is 0.5 cm having a least count of 0.01 cm. So which will be more accurate? So here we have a hint and trick to solve these type of MCQs that lesser the fractional uncertainty the more accurate the measurement will be. So we will take help from this hint that fractional uncertainty is equal to least count divided by measured value. So for meter rod the fractional uncertainty is equal to least count divided by measured value. In this case, the least count is 0 0.1 divided by the measured value is 50 cm. Both are in centimeters, so there is no conversion. So 0 0.1 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.002. And for the case of vernier caliper, the fractional uncertainty is equal to least count divided by measured value. In this case, the least count is 0 0.01 divided by the measured value is 0 0.5. Both are in centimeters, so there is no conversion here, which is equal to 0 0.02. So it is clear now that 0 0.002 is smaller than 0 0.02. According to the hint, lesser the fractional uncertainty, more accurate the reading will be. So in this case, the readings of case 1 will be more accurate.